Day 13. Transparent origami. Folding. Imagine that you place these points in a two-dimensional plane. We fold along y equals 7 and we fold along x equals 5. This um, AOC webpage illustrates this. So here's a fold point and then after the fold just imagine the bottom half of the paper folded up it's transparent you can see through it so all these points move to the position up here then we fold on the x equal 5 and then we get this nifty 0 Let's run and see that nifty zero. There it is. It's even more interesting with the real data. Isn't that something? This is the answer, my answer, to the puzzle. RPCKFBLR. Well, let's go through and see how this works. Here's a call to process, and here's process. Part one and part two can be, the answers can be found with a single execution of this. For part one, you're just supposed to report the number of points left after the first fold. Do I have this right? Yeah, how many points are visible after completing just the first fold? And then the rest is... Um, just sort of visualizing the result and then pulling out the eight capital letters just visually, you know, a human doing that. So why don't we step through here and just run. Okay, well, inside the helper module, the lines function now has a keyword argument, sep, for separator. So now we're... Um, we're getting this data, so it's a bunch of coordinate pairs and then the fold instructions. And the two groups are separated by two line feeds. So here's a line feed and here's a line feed. So let's um, run this and now we have the coord lines, which is a string of new line separated coordinate pairs, and then the fold commands a string of new line separated fold commands. And now we'll extract the points from the gourd lines. And let's look at what points looks like now. Points is 18 of these point objects. And a point object, maybe we should uh, take a look at that is a named tuple. It has members x and y which are integers and then a class method that I chose to name new. Nothing special about the word new. Kind of like a factory method so you could say point.new and then give it a sequence of the two coordinates and then it'll return the point for you. We've got the points that came from the coordinate lines and now we want to extract the first, um, well, we want to get information that we need in order to extract the folding details. So the, at position 11 here, um, index 11, starting with 0, that's where you'll find the axis, either x or y, and then the position of the coordinate is just two beyond that. So we just add two. So um, at index 13, you'll find a number that um, is where on that axis. Okay, now we're going to process the fold commands, and they're in this string, and we're first going to split it, which gives us a list, and then we're going to iterate over the elements of the list. So let's go in here, and now we're going to call fold, a method up above. 
and we're going to get the fold command we're going to get the axis out of the fold command and the fold point out of it so we use a, a slice here the coordinate position and beyond so in case there are more than one digit we, we can keep going to the right turn that into an integer so now we've done the first fold now there's another fold command and we're doing the second fold and now we're done so we're going to draw the image uh, formed by points so we'll go in here print a blank line and find the maximum values and then um, y corresponds to rows of printed lines of output so here's a row and then to find um, how to draw if x y x and y are both zero now uh, if that coordinate pair is in points then we'll draw this yellow smiley face otherwise we'll draw this blue whatever that is so we just printed one thing um, can we get to the console right so here's the console it showed us the uh, details about the two folds it did and now it's shown the first little bit of output so for the next x there and I think we're going to go through kind of get the shape we went to the next line and now here it's starting to form so I think you see how draw image works and I think we just need to look at fold next so let's start again and we'll pause at our first fold so here we are we've, we've been asked to fold this set of points um, the axis is the y-axis and here's this um, collection of points and we're folding at um, coordinate 7 along the y-axis first we create an empty set to build the new version of the points set and then we get a 0 or 1 for x or y since we're dealing with y our coordinate index is 1 and now we just go through all the points and we split out the x and y into cohorts so we have the x coordinate on the left the y coordinate on the right coordinate index is 1 because we're interested in 0 1 the y coordinate so we ask if this particular y coordinate is is beyond the fold point fold point is 7 so it is so this y coordinate we're going to modify here and in order to fold it I think it'll help if we look at the picture for this um, so imagine the first fold here's the fold line and then think about this point where is this point going to go when it's folded how far is it going to travel by how much are we going to decrease the y coordinate well what's the distance to the split line we have to move one two three let's double that and then go another one two three this is where it goes so two times the distance to the fold line is what we subtract from the coordinate two times the distance from this coordinate to the fold point so now we've changed that coordinate and now we're adding the coordinate we're making a point out of the coordinate pair adding that point to new points and then we go through and do the same for all the points and that completes the fold I'll run down to here and then we put out our message and then fold returns the new points and that's it so that's day 13 both parts see you again